Hello guys and welcome to another log of Digimon Vital Bracelet Frontier EX Checkmon Dim and for today's log we have Ancient Mechaterumon I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it correctly I just have to hope that I did pronounce it correctly Mechaterumon Alright, let's get down to today's log As usual uh, anyway, before we continue to this all, just have to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets, you've come to the right channel because I document every Digimon that I raise and I upload at least twice a week. So if you're interested in such content, go ahead and charge the like and subscribe button with Ancient Megatheriumon's Great Snowplow and, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, let's get down to today's log. We have Ancient Megatheriumon. That's his name. It's a mouthful. I'm struggling with it. And let's start with etymology to explain why on earth does it have such a long name. So ancient means long time past. We know that and it's actually a reference to the fact that it comes from one of the 10 ancient legendary warriors. Now, Megatherium is also of English origin. Apparently, it's an ancient extinct mammal from thousands of years ago. So, I never knew that, now I know that. So, it's based on the mammal that has been extinct. I guess it looks kind of like a goat. Right. It's design and analysis. There is a note from Wikimon. Ancient Megatheriumon's design is derived from the Pelovo Pelorovis, Pelorovis, an extinct genus of African wild cattle. So, I never knew that. Oh, okay. So this is the one that is based off. Pelorovis. So why didn't they just call it ancient Pelorovis? What what's with the Megatherium? Because I think the Megatherium is a different animal altogether. So am I am I mistaken? Uh let me just look it up for a moment. Uh Megatherium seems to be a different ancient mammal. So why did they name it Megatherium when it is not. Yeah, it's totally different. So if you look at Megatherium, it looks more like a sloth, bear kind of thing. Yet its design is based off uh, Pelorovis. It would make more sense to call it Ancient Pelorovis Mon. I guess maybe the name doesn't sound sexy enough. Mega sound mega enough. So here we have a mouthful that we have to pronounce. So anyway, that's his etymology and origin of his name, where his name has nothing to do with his design, it seems. Because it doesn't look like a sloth or a bear, it looks more like a cattle. Anyway, that's his profile. Let's look at his profile on Digimon.net, one of the 10 legendary warriors that saved the ancient digital world. Possessing the attribute of ice, a mega that existed in the far distant past, ancient Megatheriumon is said to possess both the strength and bravery necessary to adapt to mid-winter soil in extremely low temperatures. It can stop the atomic activity of all things with absolute zero attacks. And it destroys even the eternally frozen giant icebergs with ease. The abilities of ancient Megatheriumon would later be inherited by Mammal Digimon. Ah, so that's right. I like the fact that a lot of these 10 legendary warriors, they make that reference to which species of Digimon are going to inherit those DNA or the abilities yeah. so this is where the mammal Digimon get their uh, abilities from right so I snow Digimon and others so you know your Yuki Darumon and all that probably got their abilities and uh, typing from Megatheriumon its special move freezing blizzard is an absolute zero super blizzard and great snowplow is a supercharge that destroys even massive icebergs. So that's cool. That is the ancient Megatheriumon's profile on Digimon.net. Since we are done with that, let's look at its evolution conditions. If we do that, we have to go to humorals.com, my recommended website for all your evolution condition needs. So uh, it's the reason why I'm able to document Digimon on Vital Bracelet, Vital Bracelet BE, Digimon Color, Digimon Pendulum Color. This site has everything. Alright, so if you ever start trying to raise a specific Digimon, go to Kimolos.com, you should get your answers. So, Ancient Megatheriumon here evolves from a few things, but just take note when you're looking at this profile, because it appears, it has appeared in two dims. So make sure you're looking at the right section, 
by Humulose actually helps to distinguish it so it's really quite clear as you can see it, it, it appeared in Blizzard Fang so there's evolution conditions for Mega Terriumon, Ancient Mega Terriumon in Blizzard Fang so we're going to skip through that part because we're looking at Checkmon EX so if you look at Checkmon EX you can, you can get Mega Ancient Mega Terriumon from the following Digimon within Checkmon EX did Daipenmon and Ice Leomon X Panjamon is the Japanese version of his name so these two Digimon can naturally evolve into Ancient Mega Terriumon you just need to make sure that you got the right evolution conditions which is 20 plus trophies 5500 vital values 20 plus battles and 70% win ratio take note these are all the stats that you need when the Digimon is in that form it is not cumulative don't count the rookie or the champion forms just when it was in its ultimate level form these are the numbers that you need to hit right, once you hit those numbers you're going to get your ancient mega terrium mod alternatively you can also get it through jawgrass so the following digimon can jawgrass with specific attributes to get ancient mega terrium mod you can get it through blizzamon which has its uh, english name known as korikakumon we have covered that before so that's the English version of his name, but the Japanese called Blizzamon. Or you can jogress through Estamon. So Estamon just needs to jogress with a data ultimate level Digimon. In your build, get Ancient Mega Terriumon. That's how I got mine uh, through Estamon, right? Jogressing. So that's it for its profile and evolution conditions. Since you're done with that, let's take a closer look at its sprite, shall we? Thank you, Estamon. Oh, for goodness sake. I've tried so many battles. I've only shown about four battles here, but there were actually like eight battles that went on. Finally, Estamon was the enemy that, you know, Mega, ancient Mega Teriumon was able to um, shoot enough rounds to the fourth round. So Estamon has been successfully dodging. It's one of the more powerful ultimate levels that has been dodging. Um rather consistently more than the others and allowing ancient mega Terriumon to fire off its finishing move on the fourth round and we managed to document that so thank goodness for that otherwise i was wondering how long more do i have to keep filming this and yes we finally have it we documented ancient mega Terriumon's attack battle animations so both finishing attack and secondary attack is captured we have that now let's look at this i think this is his walking animation this is a time when ancient Mega Teriumon's uh, sprite came from the Blizzard Fang. Blizzard Fang was a generation of sprites that was kind of like sub quality. Not as bad as Tamer's EX, but um, not that great as well. Not the best. So I think the sprite looks a bit wonky. Like, look at the way it's walking. Yeah, it's not fantastic. Uh, let's look at his idle animation. This is his idle animation. It's just like bobbing up and down. Right? Compared to the walking, I guess the walking just shows its uh, many legs moving. Uh, that was the walking animation you saw earlier. Uh, let's look at the sleeping animation. This is it sleeping. It's lying down, and uh, but I have to say, the attack animation where the emerald lights up is quite cool. Right? Is it emerald or sapphire, whatever that it's uh, at the top of its uh, back, right? Uh, that's quite interesting. I like that little bit of detail there. So that I have to say is quite nice. Otherwise, you know, um, yeah, it's not fantastic. Uh, let's see his training animation. Oh yes, we have to get through two trainings. Cause tr crunch. All right, let's clear this round first because we've got to clear that round. And then we have to clear punch. And then we can get to dash. So sorry, I'm just going to speed through this gonna be a bit painful but yes um, meanwhile let me just put some side notes this is basically the last log of checkmon so after we finish ancient mega teriumon we have completed checkmon dim we have all 17 digimon documented the next log for vital bracelet frontier set is our fairy mon our last dim so we are closing in on the content we are finally i can see an end to this um, it's kind of nostalgic and sad though it's like an end of an era thanks to the closing of the vital bracelet arena app I kind of have to rush through all this content here so if you're sharp enough you'll notice that I'm actually doing multiple logs a day uh, the date on the Digimon bracelet 
doesn't move because I'm trying to speed through this. Luckily, I have all those evolution timers. But yeah, let's look at this training animation here. This is the punch animation. It bashes through the punching bag. We saw that. That was crazy, man. It's so strong. But the blue punching bag is kind of stale now. You know, so many Digimon always have that blue punching bag. So it's nice to see a unique one, but in this case, you know, it isn't unique for Ancient Mega that new mod. This was a time, this is Blizzard fans, so back then they weren't so creative. Um, this is his dash animation. You can barely tell the difference between this and walking. I guess walking, there were more feet movement. I guess it was shuffling rather than walking. But here you have actual walking, uh, running. So it's running more aggressively. But I can't really tell the difference here. They don't really make such a distinct effort to design the training animation in a more elaborate manner this was back then so I think in the Frontier EX those uh, sprites that are featured and debuted in Frontier EX I think those are a lot better than the recycled ones the ancient Mega Teriumon is a recycled sprite from Blizzard Fair so that's why the quality isn't the same so anyway, that's it for Ancient Mega Teriumon. We have actually captured everything. Uh, it's walking, idle, sleeping, training animations and battle animations. And that's the end of today's log and the end of Check Mon Dim. We'll be moving on to Fairy Mon Dim next. And meanwhile, we're still alternating with the Vital Bracer B content. So that is still ongoing. So we'll just keep doing this quickly till everything is covered. So that will be quite a lot of content. But anyway, that's it for today's vlog. If you haven't already, please go ahead and bash the like and subscribe button with Ancient Mega Teriyu Mon. And turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. I document every Digimon that I release and I upload at least twice a week. So if you're interested in such content, go do check them out. I play this for um, Vital Bracer, Vital Bracer DE, Digimon Color, Digimon Pendant Color, and they are right here. So check it out if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!